Welcome to this video and I'm going to be talking about electricity now. Uh, I've talked mainly about mechanics and kinematics thus far um, <clears throat> but there's just so much to talk about and I think a lot of students right now are moving into the topic of electricity and this is a very difficult topic. This is one of the most difficult topics because you have so much coming together. Uh, you're basically taking everything that you've used up to this point with you know vectors, uh, kinematics, forces, energy, and now and momentum. Now you're taking them and you're going to put them into a whole new topic. You're going to use all of those tools that you've learned and you're going to do a completely new field called electricity and magnetism. It's called E and M for short, but I'm going to talk first about electric fields. Now I, I originally did a video on this topic, an introductory video, and it's it, be, it went like 40 minutes just on an introduction to this. So I decided to kind of break this down into a bunch of little pieces. Uh, just to get started and I'm gonna I'm gonna cover the topic of electric field and electric potential together you'll see in this series of, of introductory videos and you'll 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 have a pretty good grasp about what those two things are because it's kind of the foundation of electricity so the first thing is I'm just gonna go through a series of questions here and we're gonna answer them here for you what is an electric field uh, an electric field is that the definition of an electric field, I'll just tell you what it is, is it's the force per unit charge, okay, in a, in a region of space, okay, force per unit charge. And so it's, 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 you could, you could also just define it um, informally as this. So if I zoom in a little bit here, it's just zoomed in, uh, uh, an informal way to say this is that it's, it's basically the force that a one coulomb test charge experiences in a region of space okay so if if I take a charge and I and I place it in a region of space and there's a force then we know there's a field that's kind of how we measure it so it's 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 gonna be uh, force per unit charge okay and we we're using the word here test charge I'll talk to you I'll talk a lot about that this is just a tiny charge that's not going to create its own field. It's not going to interfere with the big field that it's in. So it's kind of like, you know, you, you always want um, this charge to be kind of isolated and on its own and not really creating its own field because it's going to distort the field that it's in if it creates its own field and we'll talk about that later we don't want this little charge to upstage the big electric field okay it's kind of like when you go to a music concert there's there's bands that um, start out the concert and then there's the, they're the opening bands and then there's the real band that plays the, the real band would never let one of those opening bands be better than them or upstage them right so it's the same thing here we don't want this test charge creating its own field okay that's just how it goes and uh, otherwise we can't take a proper measurement because it's going to distort it so the next the next question here is what do we need to create an electric field that should say and what do we need to create an electric field how do we do that well b the basic idea is that to create an electric field okay to create an electric field um, we basically need one charge. We need one charge one charge. So we're gonna learn about how to draw these field lines and, and the magnitudes and all these things but we need one charge, okay? Um, and so a charge in of itself will create a field. So we could have a positive charge in this case could create a field creates its own little field and I'm going to talk to you about how to draw those field lines but basically it's kind of the fields going to kind of emanate around a charge I'll talk about all this direction stuff question by question but that's you know one little charge is going to create its own field it's going to radiate out away from that charge and um, and that's just basically how it goes so this the, the, out in this region there's still a field out here so again if I place um, if I place another uh, charge out there you know it's going to interact with that field. Okay, the next the next question here is what are the units of electric field? What are the units? 
So we know now that uh, an electric field is the force per unit charge, and this is really going to get tell us the, the, the units here. Uh, we know that we need one charge to create it. What are the units? What are the units? That's going to be important to us. Uh, the units of an electric field, okay, the units are basically going to be uh, this. The electric field, the units are going to be what? Well, it's going to be force per unit charge. We know that, right? So the units are going to be newtons per coulomb. Okay, so this is Newtons. This is Coulomb. And that's how we're going to measure field. That's the, that's the standard notation. There is another way to measure it uh, called volts per meter, which I will, I will throw that in here. You can say or volts per meter. Sometimes they measure that when they're doing like a, a thunderstorms or electrical storms and there's lightning. They'll use this. So this is volts per meter. It depends on what the situation is. What are we trying to measure? I mean, sometimes this is basically, and I'm, I'm basically introducing volts here just a little bit so you can see it. This is called electric potential. It's not potential energy. It's just called electric potential. Okay. And again, electric potential can come from one charge. So it's just something to, to consider here. All right, so those are the units of electric field. Newtons per coulomb or volts per meter. Okay.